guys, today I'm joined with my new little kitten. Look how cute he is, he's so small. Aww. So this is my new little kitten, he's super wiggly right now. Bless him, he just wants to get down and play because he's in a new room. Don't jump from there. Good boy. He's in a new room that he's never been in before, so he just wants to explore. Actually, before I start this video, I would love to know if you guys like this filming background because I don't really want to film downstairs anymore just because my living room is always filled with lights and cameras and I kind of just want my living room to be a relaxing space, so I thought, why not try and make a background upstairs so let me know if you dig this one if you don't I can try and make another but I think I might like it I haven't looked at it yet properly just in the little screen on the side of the camera but yeah I got a kitten this might come as a shock to some of you if you don't watch my vlog channel or you don't follow me on social media but I've been harping on about wanting another kitten for ages. So I'm gonna rewind to about two years ago when I got Nelly. Let me try and get Nelly. Nelly, where's Nelly? Oh my God, kitten's having a poo. Oh, Nelly's just walking around because he still hasn't figured the kitten out. The kitten is literally having a poo. This is not a great time. Basically, when I got Nelly, I was meant to get another kitten at the same time. She was called Miley. That's what I decided to call her. And she actually had a heart problem and she passed away. Now this is when she was really little so I hadn't actually received her yet like I hadn't gone to pick her up yet so I didn't know her so it wasn't like obviously it was emotional because I really really wanted like two a brother and a sister so that they each had a friend. Oh my god he's literally. Come on kitten do your business. I'll just sit here and have my protein shake. <laughs> This is my view right now. <laughs> okay, so obviously I was emotional because I really wanted to so that they each had a friend, but I was still chuffed to be getting just the one cat because I really, really missed my cat in Sheffield called Lily. I'd waited six months when I first moved out for my landlord to let me have one. And when he finally did, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get one straight away. So I ended up with Nelly, but I originally did want to. And then I thought Nelly was fine for a good year and a half. He was actually okay. And then I got my brother a kitten called Leo. This is Leo, so many cats. Whenever Nelly went back to Sheffield, like if I needed to go back to Sheffield, Nelly would obviously come with me. So whenever he went back, he used to play with Leo so much and he would just absolutely love playing with him. Like they were just together constantly, like best brother friends and it was the cutest thing ever. And whenever I brought him back to my house, Nelly always seemed really, really sad and upset and just lonely, like he started meowing at walls, he was just staring at things all the time and just asleep for the majority of the day. And when he was in Sheffield, he wasn't like that, he was playing for the majority of the day and he just seemed so content having another cat around him. I'm not counting Lily in this, by the way, because she hates other cats, so she steers clear. So him and Lily never really got on, but with Leo, he absolutely loved him. It got to the point where Nelly seemed so sad without Leo that I was like, right, I'm either gonna have to have Leo or I'm gonna have to get another kitten. Hello, mister. And that's where this one comes into things because obviously I couldn't take Leo off of my brother. That would be so mean. Like my brother and Leo have got a bond like me and Nell. So I couldn't take him away from George. So I decided it would be the best thing to get another kitten. So I did, and there he is. <laughs> He's a boy, obviously. Oh, for any of you who haven't seen Nelly before, this is Nelly. He's so huge, and oh, I just love him so much. He's my actual little baby. I love him. He's got a collar on now, if you can see. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> okay, you go play. Oh, I've got fur all over my face. And I really, really, really have always wanted a ginger cat. Now, my kitten isn't that ginger, but he's like the actual shade that I've always wanted a cat. Oh my god, he's messing with the lights on my bed. Don't do that, babe, she might get electrocuted. So yeah, as you can see, he's like a creamy ginger colour. He's a British short hair, and his colour is actually called cream. Although when they get older, they do get a bit more gingery, don't you? Should you? Yes, should you? <laughs> I found this little guy on the Pets for Homes app on my phone. <laughs> He's nine weeks old tomorrow, so I got him when he was like eight and a half weeks old. I went down to Manchester to get him, and 
I'm gonna insert some vlog footage here before I tell you his name and stuff from the day that I went to get the kitten. Good morning guys, I'm looking super disheveled this morning, but I'm just about to go, oh my god, look at my hair, what even is it doing? I'm just about to go get the train to Sheffield because today is the day that I get my kitten. Also, I've got a mint in my mouth, so ignore that. Also, also, I'm running late, so I need to get going. It's quarter to ten, my train is at 50 past 11, so I'm gonna head off now and let's go. Yes. Are you excited to get the kitten? Oh yes. <laughs> Another little trouble. Another little trouble. I'm excited. I always look bold in this car because my hair blends into the roof, but that's okay. We're just off to Meadowhall because I need a wee so bad and I didn't have 20p to pay for the toilet in the station. How sad is that? Hello Meadowhall, my least favourite place on planet. I am again just to have a wee. I think one thing I love about Meadowhall is that all these beams are pink. <laughs> Look That's how cute. Pink, I know, but it's cute, isn't it? It's like Candyland. So, Mum's made me a packed lunch. What have you got me, Mum? Little dough balls that I've made. An apple and cinnamon turnover. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Little snacks. <laughs> how old am I? <laughs> I'm 22 and I still deserve a lunchbox. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. I love a lunchbox, honestly. Is there anything better than having your own lunchbox? Literally, no. Hello, mister. He's trying to catch the cars. <laughs> Oh, bless him. He's trying to catch the cars. Oh, come and look at mummy. Little mister, what's this? Is this Herbert Bear? Is this Herbie Bear? Isn't he lovely? That's your first teddy. Should we pop him in? Good boy. That huh? mum cat was gorgeous. Hello, little sausage. Oh, mummy's so cute. I want to cry. Oh, you little small baby boy, huh? You a little small one. Oh, mummy's a mum, mum. <laughs> He's perfect. <laughs> He's everything that I ever wanted. <laughs> Oh, you've got I know I've got Nell. Nell's perfect too, but he's just beautiful. Oh, my mummy's little sausage. Hi. He gives you lots of love and snuggles. We will. He's very quiet. Oh, mum, he's got the cutest face. Guys, I've got the kitten now and I'm all emotional. I'm just so happy. I've wanted a kitten for so long. So that was footage of the day and if you want to watch more of my vlogs I will leave a link to my vlog channel below. I love vlogging so definitely check that out. I honestly feel like I've just rambled for like 10 minutes and I have no idea where I am. Kitten! Okay, before I tell you his name, I'll tell you how he gets along with Nelly. So when I first brought him home, Nelly could smell something so I was like, Do you know what? He can already smell something, it was like 10pm at night when I got home and I was like, I'm not going to leave him on his own at night having smelt something and not knowing what it was. So I decided to introduce them there and then. Now Nelly's always been a really good cat, he gets along with other cats, he gets along with every human, he's just like really... Is it called docile? I'm not sure. So I decided to introduce them and at first Nelly was just like... 
like, mom, what have you done? <laughs> Hello, perfect boy. Do you want to meet your brother? Him everywhere. Get off, snowman! <laughs> it's okay now. Our kitten's playing with Monty. You're a good boy, you are. You're doing very well, Nelly. <laughs> now two days later and they're starting to get along really well. Nelly keeps licking his head like if the kitten walks past he'll be like and they've snuggled up together not like touching but they've snuggled up on the same sofa and they are really starting to play together and stuff. It's only been a couple of days so obviously it takes cats quite a while to get accustomed to each other no matter how nice the cat is. But it's all going really well and I couldn't be happier. I'm so proud of Nelly actually, like so proud. He's so gentle with him. What are you doing? I'm just gonna have to sort the kitten out. Yeah, you play on the bed. Good boy, you play with Rainbow Snake. Good boy. I think that they're going to be absolutely fine and they're going to get along so well. He's been so noisy, I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's like having a baby. <laughs> also, Kitten is absolutely fine. He's loving his new home. He settled in straight away. Like, he loves me. He falls asleep here. He's just, oh, he's so cute. So now's the time to tell you his name. Now, I got sent on Twitter basically every boy's name under the freaking sun and I still didn't like any of them. And I was like, why don't I like any names? I had this issue with Nelly. If you didn't know Nelly's actual name is Penelope, <laughs> but I thought that Nelly slash Nelson as a nickname would be a little bit more masculine. I don't know. I don't really mind calling a cat a boy cat a girl's name or a girl's cat a boy's name or whatever but I did kind of want a more boyish name for this cat at first I wanted to call him Arthur and then I wanted to call him Tommy Pickles like on the Rugrats and I'd fully settled on that name like Mr Tommy Pickles but then all of a sudden I was just like I don't like it so he went nameless for a day and a half Nelly Nelly get out of the bag Nelly Nelly Thank you. And then mum said, what about Jeremy? And I was like, that is his name. That is his name. I love it. I, if you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of the Vampire Diaries and Jeremy Gilbert is a character on the Vampire Diaries. So this little guy's name over here is Jeremy Gilbert, but Jeremy for short. And I just think it's so cute. And if you didn't know, the Vampire Diaries actually finished this year, like the whole show finished. There's not gonna be another one. And I've watched it for a good, at least five years. So it just seems the right thing to do to name him after one of the characters. So yeah, Mr. Jeremy Gilbert. He's the cutest little boy I've ever seen. If you haven't seen my kitten video of when I got Nelly, I showed some of his toys in it. So I thought I would do the same. So this is Rainbow Snake. He doesn't have a name. He's just called Rainbow Snake and he's got like feathers on his head and googly eyes and he's on a stick and I would say for kittens these are the best kind of toys to go for they love this kind of toy where they can learn to balance on the back legs and like get some strength there they just love it and Nelly loves it too he plays with it don't you mister you play with rainbow snake you do don't even fib you do and the other kind of toy that I think is really good for a kitten is some sort of ball this one's got a mouse in it and he likes this one because he can like try and get the mouse out of it and the mouse rattles so these were just from pet at home and I would seriously recommend just getting these toys like you really don't need to overdo it on toys for kittens because they'll just like to play with other stuff. Jeremy came in this room and found this piece of paper and he's been chewing it and playing with it since so kittens will honestly just play with like a wrapper, a sweet on the floor, just anything so I wouldn't go OTT getting toys. Hey Nell boss, now Nell's playing with it. I think he got a bit jealous. 
Are you playing with this? <laughs> Good boy. So that is my kitten. I'm sorry if this video was really rambly. I should have written down points of what to say. I feel like I started about five sentences and didn't really finish them. But anyways, I'm gonna go. Jeremy. Oh my God. We're gonna go now. Oh, I hope you like him. He's honestly the cutest little thing ever. And you, Nell Bobs, you're beautiful too. Oh my God, he's so heavy. Look at the size difference. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you would like to see more of little Jeremy and Nell Bobs, definitely subscribe to my vlog channel. Also, kittens have the claws of hell. Like, their claws are ridiculous. Can you see all this on my hand? It's insane. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me. I think my next video will be the video that kickstarts my week of testing products again. So if you didn't know, I'm gonna be doing another week from the 13th of May. Every single day, I will be posting a video testing some sort of wacky product or brand of makeup. I did a week like this a couple of weeks ago and it got such a good response that I thought I would just do another. So definitely stay tuned for that and yeah I'll see you then bye